Welcome back boys and girls and today we're making venison meatball and my wife decided well we decided to eat healthiest at home we're not using any commercial meat it's going to be strictly venison and here it goes okay so we got five pounds of venison we're gonna grind it down and we're gonna mix it with a lot of cooked diced mushroom and parsley we got two chopped onions that's been cooked and one clove of garlic that's been cooked as well and we're gonna mix it with one cup of breadcrumbs and season it with salt and pepper as you like and we're gonna make it into beautiful meatballs okay add everything together and we're gonna mix it really well We're gonna add three eggs and one cup of coconut milk. And we're gonna mix it again. Okay, it's all mixed really well. Now, you can make any size you want. That really depends on how big your mouth is. All right, there it is. Yes, I do have a little bit of big mouth. Okay, we're gonna preheat the oven to 425 and cook it for 15 minutes. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, the first pan is done. And then we got the second one cooking again. That's a lot of meatball. Look at all this meatball. And I actually tried one right there, and it is fantastic. And you can see the size of meatball compared to the spoon. For meatball tonight, we have some frozen cherry in the freezer. So we're gonna make a cherry sauce for the meatball. Okay, this is one pound of frozen cherry. We're gonna add half lemon juice and two tablespoons of sugar. And then we're gonna boil it. Okay, we've been simmering for about 20 minutes now. And just simmer it down until it gets kind of thick. And this is really, really good. I'm gonna taste it. Wow, that's really good. Okay, that's what we got here. Meatball with cherry sauce, baked beets, beet green with topping nut, and baked cauliflower. Okay, now let's try the meatball with cherry sauce. A lot of cherry sauce on. Mmm. It's really, really good. You guys should really try it. 